no matter how low or how much you are or have been, you have yet to do what you came here to do. You have yet to do what you really came here to do. The big game's still ahead. Did you push record? Thank you so much for tuning into our second act with Paige and Silka. Today, we return our focus to reinventing life after 50 and making the second act the best act of your life. And I'm so happy to welcome Daryl Gurney to our program. Daryl, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, Daryl is the founder of The Back 40, which we'll talk about here in a minute. He is a career and life reinvention coach. He's been all over the media and, you know, his accolades are, uh, you know, a mile high. So we're going to link to all your information, Daryl, so people can, uh, you know, contact you uh, as we go along and if, if they have questions like the ones that we're going to address. So the reason, you know, again, you're on, Paige and I opened this conversation about you know, starting over again midlife or not feeling like you've accomplished everything that you want to. And one of the biggest obstacles that she cites with her clients is people are discouraged or they don't believe they've achieved enough. Do you run into this with your clients? How do you address that? Well, I run into it with my clients, but I actually ran into it with myself, which was the beginnings of the back 40. Um, I'll just give you a little history. Um, I was 40 years old. I was uh, sitting in my meditation chair, looking at my son sleeping in my bed because my parents were sleeping in his bed downstairs because they had come into town again to support me both uh, emotionally, mentally, and especially financially in a half million dollar custody suit. Ooh. And at that point in my life, uh, I kind of just felt like, wow, my first 40 years on the planet have not amounted to much. I'm sitting here in debt, in enormous debt. I'm fighting for to maintain half custody of my son. And I was even going through a career change at that time. And literally one of the lowest times in my life. And um, all I can say is I, I experienced what I call a download. And I just kind of, sounds funny, but I heard this voice and it kind of said, well, what if everything up to this point has been perfect for what you came here to do? What if your whole first half has just been R&D, research and development, to put you into a place to now be who you came here to be and do what you came here to do? So that's actually where the whole concept of the Back 40 came from, and uh, it's been inspiring me ever since. Yeah, it's it, well, exactly. And I know that, you know, when when you and I met in person and we discussed this, I and, and I shared with with Paige in our interview, I, I've been going through that recently, you know, to where you 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 put so much work into something that you want to create. and It's just not going. And, you know, is it too late? And, and then I just remind myself, no, it's never too late, which is the motto for our show. And this is your motto. And, you know, I just love that. And I want to get that message out more. Well, I even go beyond that, that it's not that it's not too late, that you haven't even done what you came here to do yet. Like, in other words, there's a model that society, you know, we all grew up with that basically I call it the down and out model. And it says, you know, life is about, you know, uh, you know, get out of college and, you know, get married and get a home and you build yourself in your career. You save money and <clears throat> have kids and and then after 40 or 50, maybe towards 60, things are going to start declining. You know, you're going to have less opportunities. You're going to have less ingenuity, your body, your health, your sex life. Everything is going to be on the downslope, which says that all the good stuff came before. But we're basically saying BS to that. We're saying that's a belief system. And what if it was actually an up and out model? And what if nothing that ever has occurred in your life was anything other than preparing you for what you really came here to do. So it's it's not that it's not too late, it's you ain't even got there yet. Yeah. And and again, I that just really hit home with me and that's why I want to make sure that our viewers hear this message too because it is we we have been raised and we have been brainwashed 
to believe that we're on the down the down uh, hill slide and it's not people just get hung up on on being down on themselves what do you have any specific tips that uh, we could talk about in this segment on how to make a, a quick mindset shift when i have said to people what if your first 40 or 50 years was just research and development what if there's no mistakes that have been made and that everything that has occurred, occurred perfectly to get you to the place. See, it takes something like a half million dollar custody suit, which people could be a victim to for the rest of their life. It takes a marriage ending after 25 years that may have not been as fulfilling in lots of ways. And it puts it into a, oh, this was a laboratory for me to discover who I really am, what I really care about, what my real proclivities and tendencies and passions are. And it was all perfect because it served me to now go those directions. So, you know, when, when I, when I, and I don't go into that much detail when I first mentioned it to someone, but the point is the whole idea of what if the first half was just R and D, I think that gives a new mindset. It starts having you think, you know, differently. The, the book that's uh, coming out later this year, it's called The Back 40, uh, The Ride of Your Life, Seven Critical Embraces for Life's Radical Second Half. And, you know, I can tell you quickly what the embraces are, but I like the word radical because radical is like totally unheard of kind of, you know, that's what the word means, right? And one of the most radical things about this philosophy or what we're living and promoting is what if your past has no limitation on you whatsoever, but only empowers you? What if you can take every supposed bad thing that happened to you, put it through a process of analysis where, hey, what if you were in a laboratory? What if, what if that was a lab and you set it up that way and you designed the whole darn thing? You picked that husband, you picked that ex-wife, you picked all of this stuff. And what if you designed it all so that it would form you into being who you came here to be, giving you the experiences? Because nobody, you know, nobody just becomes a luminary. The idea being that if you designed it all, then you have nobody to blame and you have only yourself to thank for it. And so basically one of the things we say about the back 40, it's a no victim zone, no victims. And the degree to which you can own and take total responsibility, not like bad or blame, but like, woohoo, look what I did. <laughs> I set myself up in a 25 year marriage, uh, wasn't fulfilling in a lot of real important ways. And now at 50, I'm out, man, am I excited about learning different things? And who knows that I'm not going to be the, the next best uh, Ruth. What was her name? Uh, Dr. Ruth or something. I, <laughs> I, I love Dr. Ruth. And it's funny because it, it, it's, I laugh because that you just described me. You know, I, I, I know I did. Yeah, so. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, and that's what you have to keep remembering. And I am so blessed and, and lucky to have this show and to talk to people like you and, and to have Paige, you know, somebody like Paige as my co-host and to talk to all these, you know, people of wisdom. And, and, and yes, I want to bring this message out. I thank you so much for joining us today. Daryl, I know that the book is coming out. Uh, what What's the status of it? How can people get that? Well, uh, hopefully it'll be out later this year. But there's a lot of great inspirational information already online. We've been doing three-day programs. If people go to the Back 40, and it's T-H-E-B-A-C-K-F-O-R-T-Y, theback40.com forward slash free, they can get a copy of the top 10 tips for a radical second half. That alone will be inspiring them uh, enormously. Perfect, perfect. Well, we'll definitely link to that so they can easily find it in the video description below. We're coming to the end of this first segment. I'm going to hold you uh, over to talk uh, more specifics. But for this segment, uh, Daryl, what would you like to leave the viewers with? What is your takeaway here? Well, the, the, I guess if I can offer anything, it's it's no matter how low or how much you are or have been 
or no matter how much you have like the big neon L over your forehead that you feel like you're a loser because you've gotten to 45, 50, 55 and you haven't saved up enough money or you don't really have your career in order or, you know, you haven't quote accomplished. You have yet to do what you came here to do. You have yet to do what you really came here to do. The big game's still ahead. I agree with you. That's our motto. It's never too late to be the person you always wanted to be. And we'll see you on the next segment of Our Second Act with Paige and Selka. So glad you were able to join us today. If you haven't already done so, please just take one second and subscribe to our channel buttons right over here. And for more information about reinventing your life after 50, please visit our website, secondact.tv. See you soon.